Malaria causes over 220 million cases of disease every year around the world. And of those, around 450 to 470,000 die every year. I've lived overseas and, and I've seen people die of malaria. I've seen people suffer from the disease, the effect it has in the population. It's one of the major scourges of mankind and we need to eliminate it. There are a lot of people behind this effort globally. We're one of the groups and we're trying to provide these unique resources that we've developed to be part of that elimination effort. In our lab, we're approaching two of the major problems of malaria. The first one is when the malaria parasite first invades the body, it goes into the liver. There's one species of malaria called Plasmodium vivax that when that parasite enters the liver, instead of growing rapidly and leaving the liver and it's starting the disease in the bloodstream, they actually become dormant for weeks or months or even years. That part of the disease is clinically silent. We don't know that you have malaria when it's in the liver. And these are the forms that we can't treat very effectively. So our lab has been working on this for the last 10 years. What we've devised is something that keeps that liver cell as a liver cell for a long time and test how we can kill it with new drugs or vaccines. We've developed the first new leads for these in 70 years. So it's pretty exciting that we can actually now study this dormant quiescent parasite in a way that's never been done before. The second major area of our research is on drug resistance. We have parasites, especially in Southeast Asia, which have become resistant to every available drug we have on the market. Our group, among others around the world, are trying to understand how this parasite has become resistant to these drugs. And so the greatest hope I have is that we can come up with a new drug that will prevent this deadly disease. It really puts in perspective that what we do in the laboratory can be really important. And if we focus on the right problems, we can actually make a big difference.